don't know our highlights from the horde, horde section. This is just kind of us going through our collections, picking out an item, and just kind of talking about what it means to us, why we like it, why we love it. Um, uh, I figured this week we could make it a Bethesda-themed highlights from the Horde, seeing as how, you know, we got a new Starfield game. Uh, you, you won't get another one of these until 2032 when Elder Scrolls Six comes out, so enjoy it. Enjoy it while it's here. So who wants to go first? A Bethesda-oriented item from their collection. I just talked, so you guys go for it. Okay. How about Gamer go first? Because we kind of we, we know his item already. Sure, why not? It's, it's the only item I have. So. <laughs> it's the only one. He was he had to check with it's us not, to make sure we didn't have like it. it or anything. It's just the only thing I got. Like, I don't go buying a whole bunch of stuff like that. So yeah, I got a little Pip Boy thing from Fallout Four. I don't have that glass and, cover or the plastic. It's not glass. It's just plastic. Ah, uh, I need that. Yeah, it's plastic cover. The plastic cover. Mm. But so, yeah, it's the Pip Boy. It's it's really neat. I remember me and Phoenix got it on the same day. It was pretty mm -hmm. awesome, and we were both on uh, you know at our job playing with it and it's kind of corny it was cool that's the, what it is it's basically you know? a fallout shelter device <laughs> oh yeah right yeah. So it's kind of neat well it was cool um because you can plug your well you could put your phone in there and basically would serve as a companion in the game right like you could sync it up to your in-game pit yeah. boy and yeah it was kind of it was kind of corny I'll tell you, it's the only reason I still have my it's like iPhone 5 or something. Like, it's the last iPhone that fit inside of it, so I've held on to it just in case I ever want to use my Pip-Boy. <laughs> yeah, I forgot how to open this thing up. Oh, there it is. Yay! Yay. <laughs> so, yeah, it's been a while, so I opened it up. But it came with a steel case, as you already know. Ooh, I love steel books. <laughs> yeah, you do. It came with a cool steel book and then Vault Dweller's Guide, which is pretty neat. And uh, I, I believe a little art book too, or uh, in, mm. in, instruction manual for the Pit Boy, which is interesting. And then the device itself, I think it fit like a like a Samsung or something. Pretty yeah, it had neat. a couple of like older models that would fit in it. I just thought this was a really cool collector's edition. I, mean, I know it's like oh, cheap it looking plastic, um, but I feel like it was only it wasn't super expensive, was it? I don't feel no. like at the time it was crazy oh, it for what you got. Yeah, um, and I've seen a lot of people like take that and um, jazz it up a little bit for like cosplay, like add a little weathering effects and stuff mm. to it. And it looks pretty oh, legit. Yeah. Um, I think that was one of the main reasons I got us. We we're doing a lot of cosplay at the time. Like, you know, if I ever want to cosplay as a vault dweller, that's the easiest way to get started. Get that thing, mm -hmm. clean it up, or not clean it up, but you know, dirty it up a little bit, and there you go. Yeah, it's really neat. I think it's really cool. I like how all the knobs move and stuff, and it's kind of like mm -hmm. you know, kind of kind of cheesy. So. Neat. I didn't realize that this, oh, there's not a light that turns on on top. Oh, I thought it did. I think that came out when I was kind of neat. When I was working crappy job, crappy part time jobs, so I probably couldn't afford to get one. I ended up getting one off of didn't... Phoenix, I think, for cheap. Yeah, I found it at a pawn shop, um, like thirty bucks or something. Yeah, I think I. I oh, probably, nice. That's probably what I paid for you for. Probably twenty or something. Yeah. Um. What's funny is I remember this. I remember this. Uh, this thing was like. People were pissed off. People were really pissed off getting this item. I think they were like, they were really? like, I remember it being like difficult to find or whatever. I hate to say it. I, I it was hard to get. Yeah. I think yeah. that the Starfield one, I'd be more mad at getting. Like at least that's like a fun little device. Like the, you're getting a watch with the new one. I'm like, I would never want to work. It's a watch. For... What... Apparently in Starfield you get like a watch that does a bunch of stuff. Yeah. And like it's. Know. It's just like, it's just like if I'm getting a watch, I would love to wear it, and I would never wear a collectible like is that it, around. Is it like a smart watch? It's like a full. Or is it just like it's a normal watch? I think. I don't know. I don't want to. Cool. Like 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 smart... Yeah, if it was like an Android smart watch or something, oh, that'd be, be kind of cool. I don't remember for sure. That. I'm not a big watch guy, so I don't know. I but... me neither. If it doesn't have a leather strap, I can't. I also got my my, you know, my Fallout, you know, watch. Ooh. Ooh, look at you. Yeah, I'm cool. All, All right. right, so let's so let's move over to me. So I'm gonna show. Now this isn't. I don't think it's that crazy, but it's something I've always loved the look of it. I, Phoenix probably knows what what I'm gonna show, but I got my Oblivion, mm -hmm. my collector's edition. 
I always love the case because for some reason all the stuff inside reminds me of Lord of the Rings. I don't know. I always like it because you can kind of see. That game is so awesome. It like, is. I love Oblivion. Yeah. It just like the box to me just screams Lord of the Rings. So I've always kind of loved it. And I don't know. I think I got yeah. it at a pawn shop. I think it was a Salvation Army for like five bucks or something. But yeah, it came no, with a bunch of sacks. I have. I have that edition, but I don't have the outside cover. Oh, really? Yeah. So nice. Um, it's cool, though. Came comes with a whole map of Cyrodiil and all that stuff. Ooh. Uh, you can see the entire... <laughs> As he shreds it. <laughs> Crunch. Well, I'm Red. trying to be super careful. E Let's see if I can scare him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, came with that. You, Just cover your face. And it yeah, came really. with, like, this really cool... Dude, this is, like... It literally is like a Lord of the Rings book. It's got like, oh, like that's so cool. It's like, like the lore. Yeah, it's like all the lore. It's mm -hmm. They have like artwork. Oh, it's, it's like it's one of the books you could actually find in the game or something, like a collection of the books. Like it's cool. And like that is it's awesome. like a full fledged like book. It's cool. It's like a like carrying Lord of the Rings around. I don't know. But yeah, that's it. That's a great game. I haven't played that game in forever. The only thing I remember from it is the, uh, um. What was it? Uh, there was this. I remember this. One of my favorite side quests was you get you come across this guy that's painting and he goes missing yes. or something, and you find yes, him inside. So good. You find him inside the it's painting. Like the paint world. Yeah, and the paint monsters attack you and stuff. I know this is our main topic, but spoiler alert: Oblivion, my favorite Elder Scrolls. It's so good. I don't know. I love Skyrim, but they're both like, they're both yeah, top well, tier. We'll argue that in a few minutes. But. Yeah. What else do I remember? I remember stop in the name of the of whatever. Whenever the guards would guardsmen would stop you. Alright, so let me put all this away. I'll switch over to Phoenix, let him while I put all this away. Ew. Gross. <laughs> um, so I got this actually relatively recently. Um by recently, probably in the past year or so, but um I remember when this game came out, I wasn't real big on it. It was the first my first entry into the series, I don't know how much I was going to enjoy it, so I didn't get the collector's edition. Dishonored? And I hated myself for it. No. Oh, I do have that. I should have showed that. I have the whole, like, uh, was it Corvo mask? Mm -hmm. but, uh, I it's actually... Cool. I, thought oh... the, I thought that's what you were going to show was Dishonored or something. I might show that one, too, but... No, I'll save that for later. But um, I was really sad I didn't get this, and I couldn't find it for a really long time. Uh, and then some guy on Facebook Marketplace or OfferUp had it for, like, $30. It's the Fallout 3 lunchbox. Oh, I remember that. I remember that. Cool. I don't know. I just always loved yeah. the lunchbox. It's, it's, it's good, fantastic. solid metal. Uh, what's in here? I don't remember. I uh, got a bobblehead. Okay. And the, it's got the game, of course. What else is in it's here? It's a mess trying to put all this back. <laughs> I know. I'll say these collector's editions they are opening up like a thousand things. Uh, mm. What's this? Hollow tape. Oh, I forgot I had this. So it's got like a making of the game hollow tape. So it's a DVD. Hmm, that's neat. And then you got your standard art book in here. So it's all the lovely green wasteland sketches and monsters and man, some good stuff in here. I'll tell you, I love Fallout 3. It's still my favorite one. It was my okay. first entry into the series, which I know for some is blasphemous they'd um say a true fallout you know no. fallout one or two but i think fallout 3 um, is the best one in my opinion i can certainly understand the argument for those who prefer you know new vegas, vegas or yeah. something but there's something about three just the way it starts out the tone of everything yeah i'm sure some of the system is a little more neutered than vegas but i'm a sucker for atmosphere mm -hmm. even sometimes that will like trump certain game systems as long as like the atmosphere is good the environmental storytelling that can go a long way and it helps. was just like chock full of it it helps that that game starts you off with megaton and that whole branching quest or not even branching that whole quest line it just like it sets the mood for like how that game was gonna go because you're like oh did i just kill all of these people <laughs> or, or... i tell you, you bethesda has typically always been really good about having a really good strong opener right oblivion you're getting out of the ja uh, jail cell mm -hmm. uh skyrim the dragon attack at the beginning i think that's what's made me so sad about starfield you do not get that big dramatic opening hmm. like i won't spoil anything but it was a bit of a bummer for me really? not to like, you didn't have that moment of coming out of the vault for the first time. It's just, 
I don't know, a little lackluster. But well, it's I'll even leave, like I'll dishonored. Dishonored. I remember the first one starts off with, doesn't your your king get murdered or your your boss gets murdered right at the yeah, beginning? Yeah, uh, the queen or something. Yeah, and you're like having to help her daughter. I mean, I can remember. It's been a while since I played Dishonor. But, but like even a game yeah. like that starts out, and even Prey. Prey starts out with that whole. Isn't that, don't you like fly over the city, the fake city or something? Oh, Prey is one of the best open. I have a new Prey, yeah. one of the best openings of like any modern game. You're like past, flying like, over years. a fake city or something and you're like, you see like the credits. Yeah. yeah. And to be fair, I mean, some of these are, you know, like arcane. They're not all Bethesda game studio. So that's something to keep in mind about some of these other games we're talking about. They are not BGS, they're Arcane or whatever. So different teams doing different things. It's all you what Zenimax publishing, mm -hmm. so it's all Bethesda IP kind of stuff. But anyways, I digress. We can go ahead and move on. Yep. I like my lunchbox. Okay, so we're moving on.